today's video I'm going to be uh, activating the diff lock on my Land Rover Discovery 2 uh, it's a TD5 manual 1999 um, and as you can see it doesn't have the diff lock function from factory just low and high range um, it has the hill climb descent and the uh, traction control which Land Rover reckons is so great but what few people actually know is uh, on these Land Rovers they've got the diff lock inside the case still on these early ones now I'll show you how you can check that on yours um, then you, what you do is you go on eBay you buy the nearly £400 lever and cable and mechanism to make yours now have a central diff lock I'm not sure about whether we have to cut any wires as such as yet to turn the traction control off or to stop it interfering with it or something like that I'm, I imagine we're going to but we'll find out as we go along but I, I have a hack basically a way to get this to work without spending £300 using just some basic bits and bobs and spare bits I mean you might have to go buy a couple of bits you ain't got spare but it's going to cost you pennies compared to what the one of them is so let's get started Alright now first of all this isn't majorly important, depends how fat you are. Um, put it up on some ramps on the front end. Chock it up. I've got the handbrake on, I've got it in gear and I've got it chocked at the rear as well just to make sure. That's so I can get underneath to the CDR a bit better. So, right. What I'm using, tool wise, is we need a couple of 10mm bolts here that I'm going to lock off together and lock tight together which I need that 10mm for and this massive 10mm here that's going to be part of it what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the di uh, the, the nub that sticks out the transfer case attach this to it and then we're going to make a hole somewhere in the truck so I can manually activate it myself using that. Now to do this you're going to obviously need some extension bars you don't want, a 10mm you don't want, at least that knuckle you don't want, a couple of 10mm nuts, some Loctite, some uh, tape of some description, this happens to be duct tape, and uh, whatever you're going to activate it with, I mean this is a bit overkill at the minute but yeah. So, let's get underneath and I'll show you how to check see where Right, you'll have to bear different. with the quality of the picture and the lighting. But if you can see, there is three bolts. And then there is that nub sticking up. It's a threaded nub. That is what we need to attach a couple of bolts to. And our now shifter. And then we need to find some way of drilling a hole and getting it somewhere where it's going to be good now that looks to me like that's the gear selector just there so let's see if we can get somewhere near there well, I was trying to find a way to get around doing this but I'm going to have to take this centre console out I reckon just popping these off figuring out how that comes off the same at the front there Maybe have to wiggle out the cigarette lighter thing there. This rubber mat definitely has to come off because there's screws at the front here, I believe, by the high range and low range shifter. Um, there's screws under this panel, which is okay because it might broke. It falls off. There's any screws on mine. Yeah, I've got like one screw there. So. And two screws in the back with that a million toothpicks. But don't worry, they're all brand new and clean. They've just fallen out of the package. Yeah, so I'll get back to you once I've uh, removed all that lot. This is when you re uh, realise that the bloke who you bought it off obviously had six fingers because there was one screw in there and it's not even in the bloody screw hole. There was one screw in there and... God knows what else. And uh, this one weren't tight, and this one weren't tight, and the bottom of this is cracked, so mint. Minor issue. Um, 
the fun bottom, banging an hole there, all the way down, you know, straight onto the diff lock thing. Um, would have stuck out of there sweet. Um, but I'm finding just here, there's some ducting for the rear blower things for the kids. Now I had like a couple of choices freeze the kids or go around it. Now, obviously, I was going to freeze the kids, but I'm going to have to figure a way around it. So, yeah, check back with me in a minute. Alright, next job is to uh, lock tight these two on the uh, nub sticking out of the transfer case. I can't really film that and do that and ain't got a light, so bear right, with me. So when it's come to it, I've been lazy. I decided this looked hard and I couldn't find anywhere out here where I could fit it, where it wasn't going to interfere with either wiring, the mechanism for the high low range or some of the heater ducting. So what I've chosen to do is I'm going in from the side here. I'm going to cut this piece of trim to accommodate. The extension which I'm going to use Get down through here once I've removed that piece and into there via a couple of knuckles, maybe to a 30 mil socket or um, yeah, 30 mil socket to a 30 mil arm on another nut, loctited and locked up against each other. So this should work, um, I'm not sure for the longevity, but for now, this will work. Now I've been on the internet and I've had a little look, and this uh, wiring thing, and it, it's the thing, I need to be looking at uh, one of the ECUs under the dash and cutting a blue and white wire apparently, um, I'll explain this when we get to this, but uh, for now, I'll we'll continue on with this. Alright, um, don't laugh. So there we are. A diff lock switch. Now I don't need that extension on exactly. The uh, plan is to make a little something to go in here. I've got an old piece of sliding T-bar and a little something. I'm going to weld it to make just like an on-off side thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to weld them to go roughwards. To test, I'll be able to do this like this with a ratchet. Um, yeah, I'll just take you underneath and uh, show you what's going on under there. Well, and there you have it. That's a 13 millimeter on um, a knuckle joint. Got a duct tape to uh, extension, which was hard to get in. I mean, I'm not. That's not off-road proof yet. Um, I'll need to figure that bit out in a minute, but. That could save you hundreds of pounds on a diff lock lever for, well, nothing. And this is why you can't trust everything you see on the internet. <sighs> According to the guide I was following, see this white plug here? Jiggly jiggly, that one. That's supposed to be in the blue and black wire in there to cut. It's just something so it knows when it goes into diff lock so it doesn't fudge up your traction control on HDC apparently. Well, it said on the thing I read, it's the center ECU, blah blah blah. When I checked, it bloody well isn't. It's the next one. Just there is the black and blue wire you want to be cutting, I believe, to uh, trick it or yeah, anyway, I'll get that done. I want to cut it, and then both ends need taping off. And then leaving, apparently. Um, so I'll do that, and then we'll test it. Alright, so everyone can see, she's running. Took off the ramp, I'll be jobbly. Okay, see I've got the five Amigos here. Don't worry about the handbrake light. But yeah, traction control, hill descent, ABS. That's the usual three, three Amigos. But well, my A system also hasn't been turned off because I ain't got it anymore. 
and I have an SR as they're both full. So I've got the five amigos, so I win, I guess. Alright, now I'm assuming that when we engage the diff lock, if this works, the lights will come on somewhere. No, oh, I've never I've never really engaged diff lock in my life. Oh, I felt a good clunk. Something actually moved. No light come on though. Let's see how will, oh, how will I know? How would I know? I've never used a diff lock in my life. Um and and that should be uh, I guess there's only one real way to test that and that would be to take it out um, let me check on that again first thing I'll take the force club <coughs> so it looked like the same well more of the same than the am sat here talking to myself because no one ever watches it but yeah as you can see that's my diff lock um, it, I, it, I definitely felt something clunk in and I definitely felt something clunk out now um, you couldn't keep that on there all the time because of gear changes well, I suppose let me see you can still get fifth third fourth Reverse might be a bit more difficult, but no, that could work there. If you couldn't be bothered to take it out, you're lazy. Uh, I'm just going to chuck it in my door card. So, yeah, I think that'll be the end of the video. It'll come to a point and I'll take it out and I'll do another video testing the diff lock. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if I really have done what I said I've done. Um, I'm fairly confident all's fine. Uh, Please like and subscribe, I know none of you will, but maybe I'll get a few more. Um, I do all sorts of videos, not just fix it videos, not just working on my old Land Rover. We do um, explore videos and all sorts like. Um, maybe even going to do some uh, cooking for Halloween, just to, you know, be seasonal, shall we say. Anyway, thanks again. Bye.